Dr. Nadal, what is the buzz of ASCO? We're here, so what have you been hearing? There are so many exciting things happening at ASCO. Every year I'm astonished at the progress that's being made, and in the last few years, the two major themes uh, that we're seeing again this year are number one, precision oncology. We're just finding more and more that actionable mutations exist in patients with advanced cancer, and we can target those with um, certain targeted therapies, and the patients do well with those. The, the application of genomics, the use of next generation sequencing to profile patients is just growing. Maybe the best example of that is the recent exciting announcement from the FDA that Keytruda has been approved for patients based on uh, the presence of certain mutations agnostic of tumor type. The FDA has never done that. This is the first time in history that they have approved a drug irrespective of tumor type based solely on the molecular findings in a cancer. That is so exciting. It absolutely opens the door for so many patients to get a treatment that otherwise they wouldn't have been able to get. So this notion of precision oncology, uh, molecularly targeted therapies, is a theme that we've seen just continue to grow over the last few years. And I anticipate it will continue to uh, dominate ASCO for the next several years. Uh, precision oncology is not going away. It's here to stay, and its applications are just being broadened. The second major theme that is transforming oncology is immunotherapy. We're finding that it, it works in all kinds of cancers. Uh, it is even beating head-to-head um, -head chemotherapy in some kind of cancers as first-line treatment. We're finding that it's effective based on uh, molecular subtypes. We, we know now what are the uh, molecular signatures of patients that are going to respond to immunotherapies, and these are durable responses. Patients that respond to these drugs are living longer than they've ever lived before. It's the most exciting time to practice oncology and to help care for these patients. The options, the hope, are unlike anything we've seen.